Good morning, Philippines, and welcome to Education. I am Rogen Licaros, your host for today, where we are celebrating the inspiring and nurturing stories of our teachers. And for our guests for today, let us welcome our first guest from the Talib National High School, a teacher three. Please welcome Ms. Reina T. Rizal. Good morning. Good morning. Please yes, take, take a seat. Our second teacher is from Pinyon National High School. A very good and inspiring teacher indeed. She is regarded as teacher of, a, of the year in Pinyon. Please welcome Ms. Letty D. Adriven. Good morning. Good morning. Please have a seat. And now let's proceed to our third inspiring teacher. She is from Barra National High School and is also regarded as one of the most amazing, friendly teacher in the institution. Please welcome Regine D. Kerpus. Good morning. Please take a seat. And the last but not the least, one of the most remarkable teacher in Olingan National High School, none other than Mary Chris Lakaya. Good morning, please. Please take a seat. Okay. Okay, so make yourselves comfortable. So these are our guests for today, and we will be back after a short break. <laughs> Diba, chocolate drink? All in one at meron itong vitamin C. Kahit hindi kumain ng karne, mabubusog ka! Bala mm. na! Ito na para sa iyo, dessert na to! Excuse me, sir. Wait, say ato, sir. Where can I find a place to stay? Place? Ah, tuwara, sir. Pwede naman po ako tanong itong kabantay. Kala to, sir. Ah, yes. Thank you very much. Naghahanap ka ba na matutuluyan na pwedeng pang pamilya, pang jowa at pang kabit pa? Dito na sa Random Place, home away from home. Welcome back to Edukasyon. And now, let's start our talk of the day. So our first guest is uh, Ms. Reina Tirizala, right? Okay. So, of course, she's a dedicated teacher from uh, Letalip National High School. So, thank you for joining us tonight. Today, today rather. So, can you tell us something about your journey in education? First of all, sir, thank you so much for having me here. Well, my journey in education began with a passion for nurturing young minds. Despite the challenges, um, witnessing the growth and development of my students has been incredibly rewarding. I've learned that teaching goes beyond the classroom. It's about building relationships and fostering a love for learning that lasts a lifetime. Truly inspiring, remarkable piece of applause. Okay. So now let's go forward to our next guest, Ms. Letty Diadrivan, right? Okay, so now um, you've been recognized as being one of the most innovative teacher. Um, you've utilized uh, teaching methods that are so innovative. What motivates you to constantly evolve in your approach in education? So, I believe that student is unique and deserves an engaging learning experiences. That's why I always um, exploring new methods to make learning exciting and relevant to their lives. So, whether it is um, incorporating um, technology or incorporating um, hands-on activities, my goal is to uh, meet the diverse needs of my students. Seeing my students, um, students' enthusiasm drives me to um, inno keep innovating. Thank you. Amazing work, Miss Letty. Can you please give her a 
Yeah, so she was a very nobody teacher indeed. So now let's proceed to our third guest, is Miss uh, Regine Carpus, right? Okay, so you are a teacher known for promoting environmental awareness in the classroom. So, Miss Regine, um, how do you integrate sustainability into teaching? Uh, it's um, another opportunity to be here and uh, to inspire other other people, to inspire my co-teachers as well as our students. And I believe that educating students about environmental issues is crucial for building a sustainable future. I incorporate lesson on recycling, conservation, and climate change into my curriculum to empower students to become responsible stewards of the planet. We all know that our planet is very important, so we should be responsible for protecting it. By fostering a sense of environmental responsibility, I hope to inspire the next generation to protect our natural resources. Fantastic. Indeed, you are right, Ms. Regine. Okay. So now let's move on to our last guest, but not the least, of course. Our very old Miss Mercury's Lakaya. Okay. You are known for a very inspiring teacher, right? Okay. You are known as a veteran teacher in Olingan. So you're a veteran educator with decades of experience. What advice would you give to other inspiring teachers, to aspiring teachers rather? All right, so good morning ladies and gentlemen. So I would like to recognize and thank and greatest gratitude. Uh, I am very honored to be here at this very moment in this very remarkable and famous talk show of the morning, yes. And I would like to recognize first uh, the person behind this um, beautiful talk show so for me thank you so much once again um, my advice for aspiring teachers is to never lose sight of the reason why you chose this profession to make a difference in the lives of young people teaching is a challenging yet rewarding and remarkable journey filled with opportunities for growth and impact stay passionate stay dedicated and always pri prioritize the well-being and success of your students and thank you so much once again good morning what an incredible insight to <laughs> this couple of things right okay so yes it is very evident from our filipino teachers around the country that it is very important to shape our filipino um, students we need to shape them for uh, the future of our country so before we wrap up um let's take a moment to thank all of the teachers okay to thank all of the teachers across the philippines for their tireless dedication and work and passion for education okay because without them our nation wouldn't be what it is today thank you once again this is Peter Ashton. Ashton.